First at 11, the daunting challenge to keep South Florida's train crossings safe. New video proves the point, showing a cyclist riding around crossing gates trying to beat a bright line train. That cyclist did not survive. And he's one of at least five people injured or killed since Brightline began testing its trains. And tonight, pressure is building for changes at its crossings. CBS 4's Amber Diaz covering our top story live at the Brightline station in Fort Lauderdale. Amber. Well, you just said it right there. We've reported a number of cases where people were either hit or killed by a Brightline train. The latest happening to a man who police say tried to outrun it. What you're looking at is video released by police from a Brightline train riding through Boynton Beach last Wednesday. On the right side of your screen, you'll see a man, later identified by police as Jeffrey King, riding his bicycle across the tracks. Mind you, this video has been modified, only showing the moments leading up to the impact. The gates appear to be down, and you could hear the alarm going off as he tries to beat the train. Police say King was killed on impact. Been used to these these regular freight trains and tri rails just coming through and they can just run across, but they don't realize that this train is a super fast train. The high speed train already having hit five people three in the last few weeks is surrounded by new signs warning people of the oncoming trains. Still, it seems it's not enough to stop people from going on or near the tracks. Take a look at this startling video captured by one of our crews. It shows a man lying on the tracks as the horns blare, warning him to move. Hey, get off the tracks, man! Fortunate enough, he walked away just in time. Brightline officials now stepping up, warning people to be more cautious. And to encourage all members of our community to obey the bells, lights, and gates, and to never try and beat a train. Back out here live, members of Congress are now asking for a federal investigation, and they're urging people to pay more attention. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News Tonight.